Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the January League Go Day Challenge. So we're halfway through. Um, halfway there. Whoa. Uh, yeah, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. 57. Insert interval. So, okay, so you're given an array of non overlapping intervals, and then you have a new interval. You're trying to, I guess, uh, merge them together. Um. Yeah, they're really, so I honestly, I think in the past, I usually do this with um, the event-based thing with a sweep line. Um, you can also do it another way with, I think on this particular one, um, you can probably implement with a stack, just going to left to right, and then, um, yeah, I mean, and you don't even have to, um, depending on how you want to say it, because... I think technically you could binary search and then maybe do some math and then may but then in the worst case it's still going to be linear because you have to remove um, stuff from the end or something like that, right? Meaning that um, you know if you merge like three intervals together, it doesn't really matter, right? So yeah, so let's. Um, I mean, I I I am actually I, I probably have a video about this already or something similar on on defense based stuff so definitely check that out um but today i am actually going to work on something that i haven't been um that i'm not as good at or just haven't as practiced anyway um which is using the stack based method i think the stack works where you just go from left to right and then is it even a stack i don't even know if it's a stack it's just a scan maybe um because you don't really go backwards right so i, I keep saying stack but maybe it's just a scan um also today um i I'm doing this early enough that I'm I am going to do an extra bonus question so definitely hit the hit the uh, subscribe button with the bell and do an, a bonus question if you if especially if you find this problem too uh you know too easy or too hard I don't know or even if it's perfect either way right so okay so yeah so answer is equal to do, 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 do. so for um you uh, start n in intervals then yeah um how we how which direction do we want to merge right so basically if i guess it has to be one or the other so if the interval is between uh, let's just say the new star new new n is equal to new interval just slightly easier so if this is the case what does that mean right that means that is that always true no i mean i, mean, I guess not or i mean i guess there's only really a couple of scenarios but this doesn't always start off um the intersection right for example you can imagine uh, I, I'm just thinking to myself, really. Uh, yeah, at home, maybe smarter than me on this one or faster than me on this one. But let's just say you have one, two, or I don't know, two, three, and then you, your new interval is like one, ten, then, you know, uh, one nor ten is going to be within these, right? So, um, yeah. Hmm. What is the right way to do this? I'm just trying to think about uh, how the simplest way to to um, simplest way to kind of capture all the edge cases. And this is why, like I said, this is my weaker way of doing it um, because usually I do it with defense based things, which just actually generalizes a bit better in my opinion. But but this particular one, I, I want to you know, so I feel like I always do it the other way. So yeah, okay, so. Okay, so let's say if this is true, then what does that mean, right? I don't want to enumerate every possibility, though. Hmm. If this is true, then maybe something like current S, um, current E is equal to none, right? That, Maybe we set something like that. If this is the case, then current S is equal to S. If this is the case, 
then current n is equal to n, right? Because that means that you're, um, no matter what, you're basically moving the, the um, intersected piece, right? So I'm just thinking in my head all the different scenarios, and you could draw it out at home if you want. But basically, I'm thinking like, okay, let's say you have 2, 3, 1, 4, but let's say you have, um, let's just make this a little bit wider. Let's say this is 5, 10, right? Or 5, 6. Well, in this case, the, the right end point is going to be these two. Um, so yeah, right? Right, and then basically, how do we know we're done? And also, no, so this can only happen to one interval, right? And this can also only happen to one interval, but it's not sufficient as we said. Basically, if there's something like this, what happens, right? Um, and can this happen mutually exclusive from the other two? Um, because, well, not these two can overlap, right? So that part's a little bit tricky, but it's okay only in the sense that this only changes the beginning. And then... And um, is this true? All right. All right. I mean, I don't know what I want to do here. So let me just print out for the test cases so that I can kind of just see. So this changed to 1.5 and, you know, and I'm kind of honestly just all right, so this is definitely wrong because we want this to be 310, but what, why? Oh, because, oh, because this eats this one. So it has to be that, um, how do I say this in a good way? Because this gets updated on the second interval. Um, maybe n current s is none or something. And I think this only applies to the beginning because you don't want to overwrite the first one but the last one is okay i think i'm not even sure about this one um okay so then now we get the intervals but that so then now we can maybe say something like um i don't know let's just say mm, overlap is equal to force and then if, if any of these things happen then it's going to be true Um, if not overlap, then we put it into the answer. Like it just it's not part of the thing. Uh, SE. But then if it's overlap, okay. And then we want to keep going until it, okay. So if it's not overlap, and then if current s n uh, is not none and current y is not none then we actually um i probably did this like in a really funky way <laughs> compared to how i assume most people do it uh even the, this is part of exploration i suppose um okay so this get, gets it right for this but um to be honest i'm not very convinced <laughs> about this uh, i guess we can at least add a couple more Yeah, okay. Good. Oh. Hmm. Oh, huh. And then... And then maybe we could just set current S is equal to none. So that we don't do it again. I, um, the reason... Why, oh, I didn't change Y. But the other is because if we... Otherwise, then if current S is not none, and we have turned this... But I don't think this, 
Mm, I have to do another case for this one. Um, I think this may be wrong for this one. Yeah, okay. Because, mm, because then it just never happens, right? Yeah, maybe I do something like uh, this is so much of a hack now. What is it? Oh, new into. I guess we just add this into. Um, and then I also want to add a. I mean, but this is why you have test cases. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this one isn't working either. Because basically we don't. Check the first instant thing. So okay, fine. Maybe uh, I'm just not happy about it. Uh, uh, yeah. This can have zero elements. Okay, fine. And the other things never happen anyway, I think. Oops. Uh, and it was zero, zero. Okay. I have to check the thing. But yeah, this is how, how crappy my situation is, I suppose. And that I don't really believe in any of these things. All right. And this is also why I added so many test cases, because I just don't trust this at all. Um, okay, let's try something else, like, um, okay, that's, that looks good, actually. Uh, and then maybe the other direction. All right, eight cases, I think I'm more confident, but still, honestly, not 100% confident, and there you go. Uh, 125, 156, though, what did I get wrong? Hmm. Why did I do it twice? Why not? Yeah. Oh, because it happens before? Three, six. That's not right. So this didn't happen, but... Hmm. I mean, we can definitely add this, but I don't know why it... Oh. I am just silly, actually. I, I, I took away the thing where I, I removed it and I just forgot to check for it. Um, though I, uh, okay. This is the first time I got it wrong on this one. I just needed this case, though. Uh, but that's a little bit sad. <laughs> that's okay. That's why, you you know, you don't get better at things that... Um, you, don't, you don't get better at doing the same thing if you just keep on doing the same thing. You have to work on things you're bad at, and <laughs> I didn't do it the last couple of times, but this time I did. Okay. Wait, was that right? Oh, no, I just put on case one, that's why. All right. Yeah, I just forgot to. Oh, no. Ordering, huh? Huh? Mm, if not overlap, that's true, and not added. So why would it... Hmm. Now we're having an ordering issue. I mean, I, I know that I was thinking about, uh, I mean, I know that we could just do it by sorting, but I didn't want to do it with sorting. I mean, that would have solved a lot of things, but I just didn't want to do it that way. Man, I'm really bad at this today. Mm, well, uh, okay, so it's adding it here, but why? Tell me why. Why didn't it get added here, though? Hmm. 
Open up this rules here, okay. The idea is mostly right. I'm just not putting it in at the right time. <sighs> oh, I see, because this never gets set. I have to add something like this, but um I see. Hmm. I, I thought I test this case, but I did not clearly because this test case test this case. But yeah, so basically Hmm, how do I want to say this? If not added, and if s is, or if ne is greater than s, then that means that we've already done, so we can just, uh, I think this is just the same with this, but now more generalized. I think I kind of made it more specific case. Can I, uh, I've reached the max number of test cases, what kind of, is that okay fine hmm now I'm getting a lot of things wrong if not had it and then that feels right oh hmm I see what it's trying to say I kind of added it here, but it may be that I just need to remove it and then put it here. But no, that... Mm. Yeah, it is very hard to kind of wrap around all the states that I have. All right, let's give a spin. Ooh, that was a mess, wasn't it? Uh, 10, 21 days, but you know, um, like I said, this is how I try to focus on learning. But I feel like there is a easier way to do this. I, I am trying to do it like a not like, you know, um, I, I usually do it the event based way. Oops, not that one. Uh, yes, I always do it, and I'm pretty consistent about it, the way how to do it this way. But this particular today, um, I just kind of do it brute force, um, going left to right in a check order if statements. Um, not, I'm not a fan of how I modeled it, so please, uh, if you actually want to learn about this problem, check out one of my older videos on this problem. Um, but yeah, I am going to do an, uh, a bonus premium or just like a bonus random question. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, that's all I have for this one though. So let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Have a great rest of the week uh, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.